Welcome to the St. Louis Rams pregame show presented by Eknobu Tires, the number one tire brand in St. Louis. Now here's your host, Justin Prince. Thank you very much and welcome to today's pregame show. I'm Justin Prince. We have some breaking news to share with you as the St. Louis Rams have announced their depth chart. Austin Davis will be making the start over quarterback Nick Foles today against the Chicago Bears. This comes after St. Louis Rams owner Stan Kroenke told EA Levin the following, We should be a playoff team, and I don't come to watch us lose. So yes, we have to turn this thing, the team's performance, around. Foles has struggled this season, throwing a career-high 22 interceptions in eight games so far. Meanwhile, Davis threw for more than 2,000 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions last season, and 8 starts for the Rams. It's time to head up to the broadcast booth for today's Week 10 action between your Rams and the 1-7 Bears. We'll be right back. Welcome everyone to St. Louis, Missouri, the gateway to the West, as we're all set for today's Week 10 matchup between the 3-5 St. Louis Rams and the 1-7 Chicago Bears. Good afternoon, I'm Justin Prince and welcome to EATV's coverage of today's matchup. Both sides have been struggling so far this season, and this one should be interesting to see who will win today's matchup. The St. Louis Rams are tired of losing, it seems, as they've made a major change in the depth chart this morning. Austin Davis will be starting over Nick Foles today for his first start since the 2014 season. The Rams will be the ones booting things off here at the Edward Jones Dome as they'll be Johnny Hecker kicking things off. We're returning it for the Bears will be Eddie Royal with 530 return yards so far this season. With 23 returns, his average start is at the 23. As we're all set to go for Week 10 action from St. Louis. As Royal will return things from the end zone, he picks the ball up. And he's going to go across the 20, and he's plastered by Davis. What a hit there, and it's going to be time for the Chicago Bears offense to take the field. They are led by Jay Cutler with 1,637 passing yards, six touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. A very poor season so far for Cutler as he'll start things off here on first and 10 from the 21. He'll be under center. Alshon Jeffrey in the slot. As here's the snap, Cutler's backing up the pass. He'll lob this one up, and it's picked off by Janorius Jenkins. And just like that, we have what could be one of the fastest turnovers this season, 10 seconds into the game, Cutler throws interception number 12. As here comes Austin Davis for his first start of the 2015 season. He had a pretty poor preseason. Question is, how will we do today here as the starter in the regular season? As he'll start things off, hands it off to Todd Gurley here on first and 10. And he is stuffed for a gain of about two yards. It'll be second and eight as here comes your Rams offensive starters. Robinson, Soulfield, Jones, Reynolds, and Havenstein is your offensive line. Man to watch Todd Gurley as he is approaching the 800-yard mark as a rookie here this season. As they'll set up here for third and nine. Davis in the shotgun. Trey Mason in as the back as here's the snap. Davis in the pocket. And he'll find another catch to Jared Cook this season. Cook has been a favorite target for a lot of players at quarterback this season as he now has more than 750 receiving yards. First and 10 here as Davis will set up in the shotgun once again, as here's the snap. Looking for the screenplay here as he's gonna find Todd Gurley and he's gonna get stuffed for a game of about one yard. We'll have to see what happens here in this second and nine, as here comes the Bears defensive line. Ratliff, Cody, Goldman, McDonald, McPhee, Bostick, and McClellan are your linebackers, while the secondary is Tim Jennings, Mundy, Vereen, and Alan Ball. And third and nine situation here as McQuillan had the tackle on the last play as Cook's going to be in the backfield here. Here's the snap. Davis throwing instantly to Stepman Bailey. Stepman Bailey, I should say. And that's going to be reception for about six yards. It is short of a first down. First and ten as the Bears take the field for the first time since they threw the ball away within the first ten seconds. 
Can Cutler improve on this drive as he's going to pass here on first and 10? He'll scramble forward and he slides forward for a gain of about, I'd say, four yards. He'll be second and six as here comes your Bears offensive starters. Bush, Ron, Swalsh, and Montgomery and so forth. The offensive line, Matt Forte is the back to watch today. And now they'll set up for second and seven after the QB scramble as it's the pistol formation here. As here's the snap, it's going to be play action. Here comes Robert Quinn. He almost gets sacked, but he finds Eddie Royal and he's down at the 50. And that's the first completion of the day for, for Cutler. It'll be first and 10. Second and 10 after the incomplete pass by Cutler on the last play as he'll set up under center. The defensive line shifting around a little bit here. As here's the snap, Cutler's passing once again. Woods trying to break through and it's going to be fumbled. It's picked up by Nick Fairley. And Fairley with the recovery inside Bears territory. And just like that, two drives, two turnovers for the Bears. And second and nine after the one yard rush. And they'll set up once again with Cook in the backfield looking to make a big play here as it's play action. Davis, wide open catch to Stedman Bailey. And Bailey's got the reception four for five for Davis to start off today. With 54 yards, it's first and 10 inside the red zone. And third and 10 after two straight incomplete passes. What are they going to do here? That's the question as Davis will pass right here. Blitz is coming and it's almost picked off. And just like that, it looks like they'll have to set up for another field goal so far today. And it's third and inches now for the Bears as they're trying to move down the field here with 19 seconds to go here in the first quarter. As Cutler will back up once again the pass and he's creamed in the backfield by Ogletree. And that is another sack for the Bears. And that should end off your first quarter right here as this is a Rams game so far, that's for sure. 6-0 Rams after one quarter of play, with the Bears having two turnovers. We'll be right back here on EA TV. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the Gateway to the West, St. Louis, Missouri, as we're all set to go for the second quarter. As this Rams will start off with the ball here on first and ten. As Jared Cook's got another reception for a gain of about nine yards to start things off for this drive. And it'll be second and inches. Second and four now after the penalty. As now Davis will set up here in the shotgun. He'll have to look for a big catch here as he takes the snap. Looking lots of time and he finds Cook wide open down the field again. And that's going to be another catch for Cook today. Up to 59 receiving yards today. It's first and ten. Third and five here. Looks like an hour passing down as now Benny Cunningham is in the game here. As Davis will take the snap. Goes to Cunningham and he drops the ball. And it looks like the Rams will have to set it for an hour field goal here at the 28. And it's an hour third down situation today for both sides. As the Bears will set up here on third and seven. Cutler backing up to pass. And it's going to be a catch right up the middle by Wilson. And Wilson makes an error first and 10 situation in this game. Second and 11 now after the loss by Forte. That's now the backup running backs in the game here in Thomas. And they'll set up here. Here's the snap with three seconds on the play clock. As now Cutler throwing up the middle and it's going to go back to Bennett. Martavius Bennett with the reception down to the 30. It's first and 10. And in another third down situation. Lots of third downs by both sides today. And it looks like this might continue throughout much of the game. As Cutler takes the snap. Pressure is coming as he rolls to his right. To the end zone and is picked off by Janorius Jenkins for the second time. And that's his third interception of the season. It's going to be first and 10 of the 20 for the Rams. Three turnovers for the Chicago Bears today. What is going on with Cutler and his offense? Three turnovers by him today, a very rough day. That was very open to Jenkins for the interception to go on the pass to O'Shawn Jeffrey. And first and 10 after the interception, as Davis will back up the pass on the play action, and he finds Cook again. Cook has been the favorite man to target today. Now 78 receiving yards. I think he has about four catches too. Third and six here as the Rams are looking to convert this one. Davis, lots of time. He'll scramble forward. 
and he's across for the first down to the 43. And he's in Bears territory on that scramble. And it looks like this Rams offense is working with Davis as the starter as they'll set up for first and 10 once again. Three minutes and six seconds to go here as Davis takes the snap, throwing up the middle and it's going back to Cook again. What is with this offense going to Cook? Five receptions now so far for Cook today, 93 yards. And it's third and eight here as Trey Mason's in as the back. Cook is in the slot as here's the snap. Davis will back up to pass and feels the pressure as McClellan has his second sack of the day. And it's gonna be a fourth down situation. Looks like they might have to kick. And it's nine nothing Rams here with a minute 15 to go as the Bears will take the field for offense here. Looking to get something done before the end of this half. As Cutler will back up to pass, the pressure's coming and it goes to Eddie Royal. And Royal's off to the races, showing his speed, and he's down at the 27. And look at that. Another big reception today as the timeout's called by the Bears. And it's second and six here after the four-yard completion. Tremaine Johnson with the tackle there as Cutler's in the shotgun forte to his left. Here's the snap. Let's see what he can do here with lots of time, and he finds a catch down the sideline to White, I believe that is. Yes, it is. It's first and goal at the seven. First time in the red zone for the Bears today. And second and goal here at the three-yard line. Lots of pressure here for the Rams defense as Cutler feels the pressure, finds Bennett, end zone touchdown. And just like that, the Bears are on the board for the first time today. We'll have to take another look at this one as nobody was covering Bennett. Here is the replay right here. Yeah, that was a flat route. Zone coverage by the looks of it. No one thought to cover Bennett, the most wide open man on the field. And it looks like the Rams are going to have to punt here on 4th and 10. 14 seconds to go after the 3 and out right here as this one's up in the air by Hecker. And it looks like it's returnable by Royal. And he's plastered! And that's going to be picked up by Alexander. It's going to be Rams ball with five seconds to go. They have to set it for a field goal. And just like that, it's the end of the first half. It's 12 to 7 Rams after two quarters of play. This has been a very defensive game so far. Both offenses having different stories. The Rams have looked very good on paper. In fact, they look like they should be up more, but instead it's just 12 points on four field goals. Four turnovers, meanwhile, for the Chicago Bears. Not what you want to see from your offense. As we're all set to go for the second half, we'll be right back here on EA TV. Stay tuned. And welcome back, everyone, to beautiful St. Louis. As the Edward Jones Dome is all set for the second half, as Tavon Austin will be the one returning to start off this half. And he's down at the 22-yard line. And it looks like we're all set to go here. The Rams have done very well so far, but let's take a look at the rushing game. Not much. Todd Gurley, 12 carries, 25 yards. Matt Forte, 7 carries, 26 yards. Not much going on in terms of the running game. As they'll set up here on first and 10, Davis, play action situation. And here comes the blitz. That is going to be McPhee with his first sack of the game. It'll be second and 20. And after the sack, it's second and 20. As they'll set up with Gurley as the back. Davis under center. And he'll back up here looking for something. And he finds Brian Quick. And Quick's got the reception down to the 37. It seems like this offense always finds Quick in the biggest situations. Second and eight now after the two-yard rush. As they'll set up here, Davis immediately stepping forward. And he'll scramble to his left. Tries to throw it forward and it's almost picked off. There's a flag on the play. It looks like it might be against Davis. Yes, it is, and that's an illegal forward pass, and it looks like he is down on the field with an injury. We'll be right back. And Nick Foles is in the game now after the injury. A bad injury for the Rams because this offense seemed to be clicking with Davis in the game. As Foles finds Cook, but he drops the ball. And it's going to be a 3 and 0. It's fourth and 13. First and 10 here at the 36 yard line. 35. Check that. As Cutler will set up here in the pistol formation. 
White on the motion as here's the snap. And he feels the pressure immediately. Another sack today. And that's going to be by Joyner this time. It's going to be second and 16. Third and 10 here with 11.20 to go here in this third quarter. Can the Bears get something going? As here comes the pressure on the pass and it goes to Elshon Jeffrey. And Jeffrey's down inside Rams territory. Despite the turnovers, Cutler is 12 of 16. And another third down situation. Cutler all alone as Bennett's in the slot right here. As here's the snap, he'll back up to pass. And he almost throws it away to Tremaine Johnson. And that's going to be a four from five. They'll have to punt. And it's going to be third and ten for the Rams as they'll set up in the shotgun here. They need to get something going here as Davis will back up to pass, lobbing it up deep, and it's going to be a flag on the play. That was to Brian Quick. It looks like it's pass interference. And on second and ten here, they'll set up in the I formation. Cook in as the back. In fact, Lance Kendricks, I should say, as Gurley rushes to the outside, looking for the end zone, and he's brought down at the half-yard line. And just like that, Gurley, with one of the longest rushes so far this season by him, sets up the Rams inside the one. Second and goal here as Davis will set up here under center as he'll back up the pass to the end zone touchdown, and that's the first touchdown of the game for the Rams. And Davis has his first touchdown of the season too. A nice pass there to give the Rams an 18-7 lead, 19-7 pending the extra point. And it's third and four right here. Cutler setting up in the shotgun. His team needs something to go right with two minutes to go here. As Cutler, feeling the pressure, throws on the motion, and it's somehow caught by Royal. And that's going to set them up at the 41 right here with a minute 58 to go. Minute 31 to go here in the third quarter. As they'll set up in the I formation, a tight end is in at fullback. And it's another play action. Then there are blitz coming. And another catch for a first down. Can this Rams defense stop Cutler? He's up to 200 yards passing and is starting to get into form. Second and one after the nine yard rush. Back up running back in the game once again as they'll set up here. Here's the snap. It's going to be handed off to Thomas. And that's going to be a rush forward for about, I'd say, four yards. And now end things off here in this third quarter. It is now 19 to seven Rams after three quarters of play. We'll be right back from the gateway to the West. And welcome back everyone to the gateway to the West, St. Louis, Missouri. As the St. Louis Rams are up in this one, 19 to seven over the Chicago Bears. What you missed was a four yard rush by Matt Forte. As that's gonna be a first down pass there to White for the first and 10 of the 23. And it's first and 10 here as they'll set up in the pistol formation. The Bears moving down the field on this drive. As Cutler takes the snap, feeling a bit of pressure, and he's going to find O'Shawn Jeffrey. And Jeffrey's down at the six. They're inside the 10 for the second time today. And it's first and goal here as Cutler rushes to the line, looking to get the playoff pretty quickly here as Pasco is on the motion. Here's the snap, handoff to Forte, and Forte's going to rush forward for a gain of about four. He's up to 47 yards now on 12 carries. It's second and goal. And it's third and goal here after the three-yard loss on the last play, as Cutler will set up in the shotgun, looking to probably pass the ball here. And he will as he feels the blitz, and that's going to be Aaron Donald with the sack. His first sack of the game, it's fourth and goal. Let's take a look at this one as Donald was wide open for the sack. And second and nine as the Rams offense seems to have stalled in the last few drives as Davis will pass the ball here and it's picked off by Tim Jennings. And Jennings has it down at the 36 and that's going to be the first turnover of the game for the Rams. Third and 15 here. The Bears don't want to blow this situation where they have a chance to get some points after the turnover with 8.50 to go. Here's the snap. Cutler backing up the pass. Breaking through is the defense, and it's going to be caught by Wilson. And Cutler has another good pass into the red zone. It's first and 10. Third and three now at the seven as they'll set up in the shotgun again. Alshon Jeffrey and Wilson in the slot. 
As those set up here, looks like it might be man-to-man -man defense for this third and three. And the only man open is Eddie Royal, and he finds his way in the end zone for a touchdown. And the Bears have their second touchdown of the game. They have a chance to move within two points, pending the extra point. Let's look at this one. Tremaine Johnson was the man covering him, but he just backed off into the end zone, and that's a blown chance there. And this clock is starting to tick down a bit with 4.34 to go here on this first and 10 as Davis will throw an interception. That is Tim Jennings. No, it's Monday, I should say, with his first interception of the game, but Monday is down. The Bears have a chance to get in lead. Third and six here as Cutler will set up in the shotgun. Last chance probably in this game unless they can get something to go on defense. As Matt Forte is creamed in the backfield by McLeod Jr. on the screen. He'll be fourth and eight. This one might be over. And this one is over as the St. Louis Rams beat the Chicago Bears 19-17 in a very weird and defensive matchup. Austin Davis with one touchdown and two interceptions in his season debut but it's just enough to get the Rams a victory. The defense really stepped up in this one, that's for sure as well. It's time to look at our scoring summary brought to you by Eknobi Tires. As you can tell, the Bears scored 10 unanswered points in the fourth quarter, but that wasn't enough to try and get them into the victory column. As now, this will wrap up today's broadcast live from St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.